So if you're into music, you'll uh, you'll be pretty much aware of uh, the brand Orange. Um, their amps have been seen on many a stage since 1968. Uh, the company was started in London by Cliff Cooper and uh, it's quite an interesting story. It's a bit uh, too long-winded to go into here, but uh, it is an interesting story where Cliff originally started off in... Um, he did a, his course in fixing electronics and what have you, started working in London, I eventually got a chance to uh, open a recording studio, work with Joe Meek that gave them the name. Um, it's a very interesting story. So if you get the chance, pop on over to uh, the Orange website and do have a read of it. It is very interesting. But the point I'm trying to make is the Orange box that we're reviewing today hasn't come out of nowhere. It's uh, It has got her heritage to it. And it it's quite... In that sense, it's a very interesting product. It's also a quite an interesting product for us to be uh, reviewing because we don't really review um, Bluetooth speakers, uh, but we are obviously aware that lots and lots and lots of people are using Bluetooth speakers. And we use one of these. It's a, a JBL Flip thing. And it sort of transformed how we listen to music. And for that reason, I think that they are really important important little devices do i think the hi-fi no i don't um we'll talk about what the orange box sounds like in a little bit but um it is an interesting product it's about 300 and something quid i'll put all the prices and links down below you can win this uh, very uh, orange box that we're reviewing today and i'll give details on how you can win it at uh, the end of this review so styling wise you recognize it if you if you know the brand and it is orange as the name would suggest and the branding would suggest and it is very cool it does look really cool um there are lots of little touches on there that i really like the uh, the on off light um is faceted and, and looks very cool the uh the bass and treble uh, tone controls, and I think it's good to have tone controls on a thing like this, uh, have got stylized treble clefts and bass clefts, and the knobs feel really cool on it. Everything feels nice on it. Uh, it connects perfectly to Bluetooth. Um, it's a very simple matter of picking your phone up, find it, turning the, uh, the box on, uh, and hey presto, you have music. The orange box has a toggle switch to turn it on and off. Next to it is the power indicator light, which illuminates when the orange box is switched on. The power indicator light glows green when the orange box is fully charged. There is a battery indicator light, which flashes when there are one to two hours playtime left, flashing faster as remaining time decreases. Next to the power switch and lights are the treble, bass and volume control dials to adjust the sound to your taste. To charge the unit, connect the mains plug lead to the DC power adapter, then connect the power adapter to the rear of the orange box. When charging, the battery light will glow red. A full charge from empty will take three hours, with the indicator light glowing green when the battery is full. The amount of playback time available from a full charge is around 15 hours, but will vary depending on the type of connection. There's an overload light which will glow orange when the unit is being pushed to amplify a signal greater than its available capacity. It is quite a big box, the uh, orange box, uh, but it does come with a handle so you can move it about and you can carry it about to the beach or out into the garden. And I think what a lot of people will use this for, it does come with a, a power brick obviously rather than a little wall wart uh, and it's I think most people around the house are going to use this wired into one place and then carry it about if they're going into the kitchen or into the office or into the garden or whatever. And it does have a battery life of 15 hours, so it is really useful. So sound-wise, um, it's not a hi-fi system. You're not going to get that uh, deep bass. There is a claim bass of uh, 35 hertz. I think that's a little bit ambitious, if I'm absolutely honest. But it doesn't sound bad. Uh, in fact, it sounds pretty good. And in this room, 
Uh, have I, I've had it over there on the little low coffee table. I've had it over here on a different little table. I've had it about the house. And it does fill the room with sound. Uh, you don't get stereo, but the, uh, the bass is pretty decent. Um, and you can fanny about with the, the bass and treble controls. What I thought was quite interesting was Orange have decided, and it's obviously a sensible thing to do because having a, a Valve-based Bluetooth speaker isn't particularly practical, uh, but Orange are very famous for their um, Valve amplifiers, and it will be ever so cool for them to have done some kind of Valve within this. Um, whether or not that would have been a bit too gimmicky, I don't know, but the the class D amplifier on the bass speaker is it's punchy and it, it does get the bass across there. The uh, the other speaker, the other amplifier, sorry, in there driving the other speakers is a class AB amplifier. And that mix is quite interesting and it, it does work on this product. And whilst I think it will be ever so cool to have the... Uh, a valve based bluetooth speaker and particularly orange doing a bluetooth uh, speaker with valves in there where it's just not practical i don't think given that uh, people expect a decent battery life uh, from a bluetooth speaker and they expect to be able to carry it about and it will get knocked uh, much the same as a valve a valve amplifier head would get knocked so perhaps it's not that impractical i don't know i don't know what orange think about that perhaps they can let us know I, I did find with the tone controls that I did need to push the bass a little bit beyond the 12 o'clock position and the treble as well. And that's where I got the best sound from this. But it's great. You can, for listening to Bluetooth, for listening to the radio, it's not it's not for critical listening. It's not a hi-fi, um, but it is very, accept very, very acceptable sound. And I'd be happy to have it in the, the kitchen, the bedroom for, for casual listening. Um, it's a very nice sounding product. So I did say that you could win this um, orange box. And it is this orange box. Um, if you're outside of Europe, you will have to pay import duty. But uh, we'll cover the postage and all that kind of thing. All you've got to do is leave a comment down below saying Hi-Fi Pig is great. Um, do that before the 3rd of August. That's a week today at midnight. We'll pick someone at random and we will contact you through YouTube. Good luck. Hey.